Hello, good people. I'm back to discuss more of the Neuralink, more of their implant, their N1 implant, that they're essentially going to start testing on humans. I downloaded a PDF that has all the information about this implant and how they um and how they're going to use a um a robot to surgically implant it. And this PDF was really looking for a specific type of people to test this technology on. But the primary reason I'm making this video is because people should be aware that Neuralink has um has began their human trials. And in my last video, I even played some of the clips that Neuralink has uploaded regarding their prime study, which is basically them, you know, injecting humans. And I'd be lying if I didn't say that that ad didn't weird me out. The music, the atmosphere, it was a creepy ad. And with the rollout of this technology, with the implications of the prime study ad, Everything behind it was implying that this is going to change humanity. And when they're saying that there's about four to six years before this technology is complete and sophisticated, that really correlates with the 2030 agenda. The reason so many people resisted the vaccine is because they knew it was coming because ID2020. When this Mark of the Beast rolls out, because they're developing the technology, they're getting ready to really, literally, put it out there. Now, whether the first Neuralinks are the Mark of the Beast or whether Neuralink is the Mark of the Beast is debatable. But when this stuff rolls out, I definitely want people to be aware that it's a device of the enemy. And really, I want people to be aware that this stuff is, um, is you know, about altering humanity. And that this is literally has to do with um with the new world order and all of that and people should really look into it so without further ado i hope y'all have a blessed day and i'll see y'all next video